Mahaba, and welcome to this week's episode of Metropo Live. So, I'm here in the studio with some of our fantastic students on Earth Day. That's why we're all wearing green today. But we're here to talk about something different. I'm here with students that have been talking and giving their speeches across the school this week as part of MTS Talks. So, let's find out from Isla and Lily about how MTS Talks has gone across the school. So, I don't know who's going to go first, but we're just going to have a chat. Okay. Don't worry if it messes up, that's the best thing about being in the studio. And also, we have to have a shout out to Ashton, who is at the back doing all of our studio editing. So, Ashton, it's on you if this messes up, okay? <laughs> there we go. Right, Lily, Lily, you're in year six, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So, Lily, tell us a bit about how MTS Talks has gone this week. It's gone really well. I really put in a bunch of effort and a lot of work into it to make it their best speeches and their best work. And I think everyone was really um, engaged, and so it was a really fun experience. Yeah, that's brilliant. Isla, how did you find your MTS talks? Um, it was actually pretty great. My class had um, amazing language and body language. It had, like, we all were happy and engaged, and we were interested on what they were talking. Okay, so you both started off talking really well and telling me about how your talk's gone. Mm -hmm. And you said all the right things, but I know from when I was at school, or even now in my job, standing up and talking in front of people can be pretty nerve-wracking. Mm -hmm. Lily, tell us a bit more. How did you feel before you did your talk? I was really nervous since I'm not that big on standing up in front of a class and speaking. And so, if I have written three pages in my science book, I'm just going to go there and say five lines and like sit back down. And so, when I had to stand up there, I was really nervous. And the days before, I, I just didn't even want to think about it. And when I actually got up there, it just felt like I was normally talking. It was okay, and I was actually more confident some, from this experience. I love that. So, how would you feel? Would you go and do some public speaking now? Would you feel a bit better about doing it? Yes, much better. Perfect. That's great. Isla, tell me, how do you feel after doing your MTS talks? Um, I felt like way confident. I felt more happy and I was stood up and just spoke out and it was pretty fun. I love that. And actually some of the talks I've seen, so I've been in lots of different classes. I've seen year three students talking about economics. I've heard one boy in year five talking about why we should travel. Someone else telling me about um, how to catch a lie. I thought that was quite cool as well. I think you did yours on evolution, you tell me? Evolution. Amazing. So Lizzie's evolution. What was yours on either? Um, mine was on music. Oh, amazing. Anything specific in music? Um, no, it was music. Just oh, no I problem. love it. It's great. And what's nice is MTS talks has only just started this is just the first the class rounds isn't it that have been going on yeah. so then we've got year group finals then we've got the school finals and they've been streamed live on youtube why do you what's the best thing lily you think that can come from doing mts talks i think that not only does it make students more engaged but also we can just speak out and say our opinions and it, i think that writing a speech not only teaches you how to properly do this but it also lets you stand up and say ideas clearly and confidently. So I think it's a really good idea. Definitely. I think I read something this week that said a speech that's written with passion sticks. And it's true. If you, if you stand up there and kind of mumble along and it's a bit boring, everyone switches off, don't they? Mm -hmm. But I know both you girls, you absolutely knocked your talks out of the park. Everyone loved them. I know. What do you think, how do you think this would help you in later life doing MTS talks? Um, it will make me um, more proud. It will make me stand up and be confident on what I'm talking. It will let me say what I want or what I want to do or what I want to change the world. And yeah. I love that. And you're talking about leadership competencies there, either. And you're in year five. These are things that we would expect in year 10, 11. But you're talking about your careers from things like this. It's brilliant. Well, girls, I wish you both the best of luck with getting through to the year group finals and, and where we go from there. And we'll see if you're streamed live on YouTube to the, for the world to see. But thank you for talking to us today. So that's it for this week's episode of Metropole Live. It's great to hear the students and have student voice in the studio. 
but we want to know more about how your students have got on with MTS Talks this week. And we look forward to sharing the dates for the finals and the link for it to be streamed live on YouTube. Until next week, from me, Isla, Lily and our sound engineer Ashton over there, we hope you have a lovely weekend. Goodbye.